There is a fuss, said the Lord, and they are receiving it now. They tell my prophet to be silent, the Yahweh does not speak like this, telling my prophets to be blind, for Yahweh doesn't give visions like this, telling my prophets to be silent, for Yahweh does not speak about the wrath of Yahweh, or repentance, or judgment, telling my prophets only speak good things and nothing to upset the people, lies and more lies, saying they are meant to teach the prophets, and yet I am is the only one who anoints and teaches with my Ruha Kadesh. Beware of those taking money, writing books, and selling knowledge that I have not given them. Beware, my prophets, of the liar who seeks to close the mouths of the prophets. Beware of what will you do without the true prophets speaking forth my words. In this end time, the prophets' mouth cannot be muzzled like a dog. They must be free to speak boldly, and what I decree, it shall come to pass. Beware those who seek to muzzle my beloved prophets, apostles, pastors, teachers and evangelists. Beware, for the wrath of Almighty God, Yahweh, will come upon you, and the angels of Yahweh will chase you. Leave my precious prophets alone. Their job is not of them, but as I, that sends them forth as a gift to this world. If I were to speak in audible voice, even a whisper such force will be in that whisper, that nothing could stand the, for nothing could stand the force of that wind. My anger is kindled against those that harm my beloved prophets. Woe, 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 for you shall answer to me personally, and you shall reap what you have sowed. Don't muzzle my prophets anymore. They are not dogs to be muzzled. The flaming bite they have inflicted by speaking forth my words are not their words, and their bite is not their bite, but mine. The wrath called down is not their anger, not their wrath, not their judgment, but mine. Don't listen to anyone that says, like those named in this message, and there is no such thing as a true, thus saith the Lord. They teach there is always flesh also. If the word comes from the Ruha Kadesh, then, it's just, then it is just that, dictated by the anointing of the Ruha Kadesh, and it is all spirit and no flesh and bone. Mm -hmm. Flesh is a false prophet. I have anointed this prophet, and I am speaking forth from now, to call back my prophets that have been chased away, convinced they are a false prophet. But this day, who will you believe? Man or Almighty God Yahweh? I have anointed her to bind up your wounds. Let her minister unto you. My love, comfort, and my truth. Come back, O warriors who have anointed to speak forth with a loud voice and boldness. Allow this one who I have anointed to be like a mother to the young prophets and to the abused prophets. I have called Sh Shiri a Shiri to nurture, encourage, bind up your wounds, teach, love, and war in your behalf as mother lion wars with her cubs in danger. I will put a roar in her mouth, my roar. The enemy shall go running in seven different directions. She has been attacked as it has been prophesied. Five hundred thousand mouthpieces of mine shall rise up and all shout together. Amen. My prophets shall gather together and shout in unison. And just like in the days of old, it will be for my praise, honor, and glory. I would design the same and do not change. Like the walls of Jericho have crumbled to dust, like David slain for liar, don't try and understand. Only believe what I've spoken will come to pass. I shall have you stationed on the wall like a Nehemiah, but your station shall be around the world that you shall not come down from building the temple until I say the job is finished. Your job will be finished when I come again, not because of anything she does, but because she speaks forth my rule of the Lion of Judah. Get ready to run enemies, wolves disguise as sheep, but instead you devour my sheep. But no more, I have raised up one that will expose you in all your hidden mood, low motives. Not in her strength, but in almighty Yahweh's strength alone they will run. She will nurture you and encourage you once again, so you once again will have confidence that you are called to be a warrior of the war, sounding forth my messages like a loud trumpet blast for all. Station yourselves on the wall and speak forth what I tell you to say. Come down off the wall for no man or woman or devil. Don't fear their faces. Don't fear their wrath. Fear my wrath. For if you don't do what I command you to do, then you're in a rebellion against the God you serve. I need you to speak forth like your sister is speaking forth another message 
that will be a roar heard around the world. For once again, I am using her to speak what others refuse. They are the realm and said, or they see the realm and said, it's not my concern. Let someone else speak it forth. The enemy, my children, will hear this trumpet blast, whether they want it, want to or not. They will hear. Don't hinder my prophets from speaking. Churches, stop silencing them. Stop kicking them out. Admit that you really don't want your sin exposed and repent. Don't silence or think you determine who speaks and who does not. Pastors, you have grieved my Guru Hakadesh. Who are you to censor those I send? You say it's because you don't want to allow just anyone to speak forth as my prophet. Yet if they are not of me, I will expose them. I will show you the signs that they are speaking forth my words of holy fire. Or whether it's a strange fire or cold fire, let them speak. No, you don't have to prove, read what is said first. Pastors, you have overstepped your boundaries. Repent today. Cannot the Ruha Kadesh give the sermon what is of me and what is not? Beware, for you are grieving the Ruha Kadesh. You will be held accountable. You will know if they are a false prophet. The signs of a false prophet are their fruit. It will be rotten, corrupt. Also, the word of Yahweh will be twisted to conform to their image, not my image. They will be full of pride. They will be selling the gifts of the Ruha Kadesh to the highest bidder. They will lead to a different Jesus Christ. Even the evil ones use my name. Many evil ones have gone forth in my name, seeking to destroy the prophets. But they are the ones I shall destroy. Enemies of mine, although you look so good, I alone know your heart. Repent this day, for you have been warned. Spoken this day through my prophet, Pastor Shiri Elijah, 4 p.m. on the 2nd of 6, 1998. Again, when I had the time included, so beware, for now you are accountable for what you know. What we do with it, I already know. Amen. And the says to include this question note below when you okay? To show how angry the dear was for delivering this word from Yahweh. Christian note. Every time I'm given prophecies from Elizabeth, Elijah, every time I'm given a prophecy, later Yahweh confirms what is being spoken. This was to finish at 4 p.m. at 5.25 p.m. and at 5.25 p.m. I was attacked twice verbally, one by a minister I had called friend, and even led you to this website, which I will be removing his name shortly. For he, was grieved, for he has grieved the Ruha Kadesh. He wrote me and said, take his name off of my email list when I am sending the prophecies out. He thinks I am pushing, doing it without his permission. Sorry, Pastor Steve C. I thought we were of the same spirit. It appears I am wrong. Yahweh be your judge. He knew what you were going to do, trying to shame me in front of other warriors for Yahushua. I thought you would be blessed and you would want to know what Yahweh is speaking. I am deleting your name entirely from the dress book. You won't hear from me again. But I am sure one day Yahweh will remind you of what you have done this day. By this you shall know that by the love they have for, for the brethren, your fruit is showing. I pray you repent, and by the way, when you sought to rebuke me, I didn't notice you getting anyone else's permission to email them. Practice what you preach. Besides, in the Bible, when did a prophet need permission to speak forth Almighty Yahweh's prophecies? The major part of the Bible would not have been written. This prophet refuses to be gagged, bound, silenced, or blinded by man or woman, or the devil that sends him. This prophet only seeks to, to see clearly. And hear clearly what the Ruha Kadesh speaks for. Please, Yahushua, never let anything be spoken or written through this vessel that is not truly a, a thus said Yahweh. Amen.
Matthew chapter 7, verse 15. Mm -hmm. Let us read. Be on your guard against false prophets that come to you looking like sheep on the outside, but on the inside they are really like wild wolves. Close your eyes and I'll lead us in prayer. Hallelujah, and I praise you, glorify your name. Thank you, thank you, thank you. In the name of Yeshua, and I praise you, and glorify you. I pray you anoint this broken message of yours, Yahweh. To speak forth your words today. May your children hear what you want them to hear. Then, yeah. May you speak through this broken piece of clay. Use my mouth and tongue to, to glorify you today, to bring praises unto you, to speak your words, not my word, Abba Yahweh. May Abba Yahweh not let any flesh be spoken out in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. May you bind up Satan with evil spirits and evil demonic spirits and nothing will interfere and hinder your word today, Abba Yahweh. For the blood of Yahushua clear that covers my mouth, my tongue, and this holy temple of yours, I think, your heaven. May you bless your children with your word today, that your word will deliver them, your word that will wake them up, your word that will um, strengthen them and heal them up by Yahweh, broken hearts. I pray that your word of Yahweh will bless your children spiritually in the name of Yahshua and Mashiach. We thank you, Abba Yahweh. We praise you, glorify the name of Yahshua. The Holy Spirit of the should take over the name of Yahshua. I pray. Amen. Good morning. morning. Preachers in Yahushua and Mashiach's name. It's nice to see you. Hallelujah. Our word is from uh, Matthew chapter 7, verse 15. I'm just reading it earlier. Yeah. Shepherd. 
If we go to John chapter 10, I'll also read John chapter 10 verses 1 to 15. And you put Yahweh, you put God, Yahweh, sicker. And he 
does not want that. So we cannot remain in his love if we put him second. Because when he died on, on, the, on Calvary, when his love that he gave for us, his blood that he poured for us, he put us first. He did not put us second. He put us first. He strove and he died for us. So that we may live, so that we may receive him, so that we may receive the blessings. And then we can finish. Thank you, dear precious son. But many people these days, they say they believe in the Yeshua. They say they receive the gift from Calvary. But they continue to sin. They continue to walk the way they used to. This is what the people out there don't know. This is what the people are supposed to preach. The pastor is supposed to preach the truth. They're supposed to preach against sin. They're supposed to preach about repentance. They're supposed to preach that Yahweh is a God of balance, of love and of hate. God hates evil. And he says in his word that we are to hate evil. Evil is sin, anything that, you know, that mocks our God, Yahweh, and mocks his son, Yahshua HaMashiach. But the churches today, they don't want to hear that. They don't want you to feed the spirit. They don't want you to feed their flesh. But we are held accountable to speak his truth. And we go to speak his truth. For the children, for the souls, they come to church and they come and they think, oh, I don't want the truth. But you don't preach the truth. You don't tell the truth. You don't feed the men's and sheep like the Elshah said. He says, he said to Peter, if you love me, feed my sheep. Amen. 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 It says, that in this way we just read the prophecy that we are to be a fruit inspector. Like I said last night, if you see people going to the supermarket, into the produce department, and if you see them trying to choose what apple, tomato, you don't see them just grab it. They actually look at it and then look around the apple to see if it's bruised or if it's firm or if it's, or if it's rotten. Because nobody wants to eat a rotten apple. Amen? Amen? Nobody wants to eat an apple that's so soft. Amen? <laughs> Amen? So we can just check and make sure that this apple is beautiful food. It's the same with the Spirit. We've got to taste the Spirit. We've got to know. We've got to see their fruits. If they live and body according to the word of Yahweh, the love of Yahshua on the ship. The love of Yahshua on the ship does not care to offend the flesh. Does not. But cares to feed the honey. Because what he can do to us, it says in Matthew, worry about what I can do to your body and your soul. So we must fear Yahweh, working and serving him with trembling, but with love as well. Amen. He says, warn those that the enemy is harming like you were harmed. We have to take back what the enemy has stolen from us. The lost sheep and the lambs that are being led astray. They are being gagged, they are being blinded of the truth, they are being deafened and silent and bound. They are discouraged and now they have to quit. How? By exposing the wolves disguised in sheep's clothing. Amen? Mm -hmm. I'm just going to put some pictures up here.
to see everyone around the world, they bow down to an idol. They worship like a god. He's like a god to people around this thing. And people think that worshiping and kissing his ring and everything, that they will get to heaven. They're just lies, lies, lies with the pit of hell. And this baby him. Now we know about him. I believe that once that he was with Yahweh. That he once, when he first started it, that he was with Yahweh. But then what happened? Power, money, fame, pride grew into him, took over. And now he sold the soul to Satan. And now what's happened? He's fallen. And millions, millions of souls have been saved through this man. What's happened to all the sheep now? What's happened? They're scattered. They're scattered. They're lost. Confused. Now they're confused. How are they? I didn't think there's a God. But because they're after signs, false signs, false miracles. Remember, when he does miracles, it says in here, and the Bible says something, he actually said, some people come, Lord, Lord, I did miracles, I cast out demons out of your name, Yoshua. But remember, I said, taste the spirit, between the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. When he, once they sold their souls to Satan, of course Satan would give them the counterfeit gift of the genuine Holy Spirit of Ganesh. These people are just... Maybe <coughs> sheep. Wolves disguised as sheep. That's what they merely are. <laughs> 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 That's what they are. They are wolves disguised as sheep. And we've got to warn the people. Because there are millions of people following these signs, these false signs and false miracles. Oh, Yahweh, we be praised and we be glorified. Oh, Daddy Yahweh, he is so angry and he's so angry at these people. He's drawn, his children are hungry, no matter how much they're, they're, they're suffering poverty, you know. I just speak the psalm on here. No matter how much they don't have money, and that, but they give, give, give to the church. You know, that means they're deceived. These are deceived by big church, rich church, eh? Hey? When they when people see a big church, they think, wow, this is a blessing. This is the church where God is really is. Because look at all the people. But how many in their church is of Yahweh? How many who is living holy, who is speaking up the truth for Yahweh? How many? In that church, there are how many thousands upon thousands in that physical church of Jolestine. He is definitely not of Yahweh. And many people go there because why? You know about Jolestine. He doesn't preach about sin. He doesn't want to hear about sin. He doesn't want to hear about hell. He teaches them love. Come to your shame, love you. Goodness and happy and joy. Of course that will draw people, it will itch the ear, because that's what that itches the ear. They don't want anything else but to love and to be kind and to do compromise and sin and continue to do sin. Do not be deceived, children of Yahweh. Do not be deceived. Here's another one. I used to be one of these. Um, I get deceived when I see old people, I fall in love with them. I feel sorry for them because you think old people are so fragile. I'm like, oh, kind of fire, you know. You care for them because you're brought up the way you're brought in some way, um, to be nice and to be respected to old people. But really, are they? You've got to taste the spirit. You've got to taste the fruits. That's what our God now says to us. We must not be deceived. I remember in the news I was telling you last week about an old couple on the news. Boy, that's when I heard, you know, Yah said to me, do not be deceived. They're an old couple, they're a nude, selling a van company, selling nudity to do hire their van. I was just so, whoa, so disgusted. These, these old people, they were smiling, they looked so innocent. But really, they were not innocent at all. They were living a lie. They were living in sin. So, not all old people are like that. But I'm saying, sometimes we see old people and think, oh, they're such fragile people. You must taste the spirit. You must taste the fruits. And that's how we're not to be deceived. Amen? Amen. Amen. But they only see these people. They only see the Pope. They only seek power, uh, money, fame, and pride. And once the person gets prideful, whoa, that's it. You've opened the door to Satan. And the pride comes up. You 
think you know it all. And you preach it out to them, you reach out to the people. But what is his fruit? Is he a blood? Does he love the man's sheep? Will he feed them, tell the truth? Will he rebuke someone if he's living in sin? Say, you know, go up to him and say, look, dear brother, this is not right. You're not supposed to be smoking. This is not right. This is a sin. You must repent of it. That is the true love of Yahshua. We are to correct, rebuke whoever's doing sin among. We are not to compromise with sin. Oh man, who's got to sin into heaven? Amen, amen. Yahweh says, the sign of a false prophet are their fruit. They'll be rotten, corrupt. Also, the word of Yahweh will be twisted to conform to their image, not his image. They will be full of pride. They will be sunny the gifts of the Ruha Kadesh, Holy Spirit to the highest pillar. They will lead to a different Jesus Christ. Even the evil ones use my name. Many evil ones have gone forth in my name seeking to destroy the prophets, but they are the ones I shall destroy. This is Yahweh's word. Enemies of mine will say, you look so good, I have known you know your heart. Okay? Repent the state where you have been warned. Do not be deceived. By false signs and false wonders and false miracles. Do not be deceived by beautiful big church. Do not be deceived by the flattering words. And do not be deceived that go to Bible school no more. We've been taught Yahweh. Who is our true teacher? Yahweh. And through his Holy Spirit leads us, guides us. So if anyone stands in front of you and preach to you or who teaches to you and say that God is love and will never speak of anger in him, that is a lie. Because you can read me how he hates evil, how he hates sin, he can't tolerate it anymore. If, if they stand and they preach to you and say God understands, how can God understand if you sin every day of your life? He can't understand that. If they say God will forgive you even if you continue to sin, that is another lie. And that's when you, you test the fruits when they preach it and they say, no, that does not go with God's Yahweh's word. You can, Yahweh will not forgive you if you continue to sin day after day in. If they say that there is no hell, that you will die and all go to heaven, that is another lie, because hell is real. Remember the story about Lazarus and the rich man? He said to, to Abraham, who was burning fire, he said, sin. Send him to my brothers and warn them to not come here. But what did Abraham say? He said, He's got Moses, he's got prophets. He said, But still send them to warn my brothers that they won't come to this horrible place. If they don't see the prophets, then they won't receive. No one comes out, you know, go back in time. But we are in the end of times. We are in the end of times. And you know it, you just look around and see what's happening. I'm sure, and we got to warn the people and tell them no matter who will slander us. That's what we're saying. Yoshua slander, remember? Yoshua was called such horrible names. Yoshua was spat at. So if we have to walk in Yoshua's footsteps, that is also part of the package. Amen? Amen. 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 <clears throat> if they say that God will understand if you abort your child because it was a mistake, that is a lie. We're in the Bible that Yahweh said that we can murder, that we can kill. We are not to abort children. And many people out there, women, don't know the truth to tell the truth. They don't know unless we tell them that abortion is an abomination to Yahweh. We are not allowed. That is a gift from God, Yahweh, given to a woman. And if a woman aborts a child, they are killing the gift that Yahweh has planted in her womb. If God says, love, if they preach that God loves whether you're a man or woman or child or same-sex relationship or transsexual, that is another lie, 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 lie from the pit of hell. They are mocking, they are mocking the holy marriage that Yahweh has seen. If you buy these lies because your, your ear itches for it, because the word is for the worldly, that these false prophets preach the word, they only preach what the world wants to hear, and the world will receive it. But the children of God, Yahweh, if you're among those people, if you hear this word, it says, Yosha said, flee.
they will not hear or follow another voice but the good shepherd. If you're somewhere that you, your heart is not right, that everything the preacher is saying to you or wherever you are, and you know it's not right, it's not right with the word of God, flee, Yahushua says. Hear and listen to him calling your name. Follow Yahushua. He is the only true shepherd. He is the good shepherd. He is the loving shepherd. And he will direct your paths. Amen? Amen. Amen. So, right now, we, it's, a, it's, a, it's our choice. That's what the Holy given us. A free choice to decide where you want to go. Either the left from hell or the right path to heaven. So, I encourage those who are in the churches or are in, I don't know, fellowship or wherever you are maybe, you know in your spirit that where you are is not right, flee. Flee the church of Babylon. Flee, flee in the name of Yahushua and follow him. For the churches, those churches do not have Yahweh's spirit, do not have Yahweh's truth. So that is the word for today for us. Amen. 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 We are, if you're a child of God, if you're a child of Yahweh, and you love Yahushua, you stand up for truth. You stand up for holiness. You will not compromise with sin, no matter what. Because Yahushua, did he compromise with sin? Did he compromise with the Pharisees? No. He stood up for what was true. He stood up and he died for you. Thank you.